many are asking why an act so violent took place in a place many of us consider safe and sacred. Well, here is what we know tonight. The gunman, Devin Kelly, was shot three times, twice by a citizen. Authorities say that he may have fired 450 rounds and Vice President Mike Pence will travel to Sutherland Springs. That'll be on Wednesday. And that's where Kevin Reese is live tonight. And Kevin, there's been a massive presence of investigators outside that church today. It certainly has. This is an investigation of the likes Texas has never seen before. We have confirmed tonight hundreds of rounds, as you said, fired inside and outside this church by a man they will only refer to as the shooter. Investigators refuse to mention his name in public. As for this tiny town, unspeakable grief, difficult for everyone here to comprehend. Long before mourners gathered for an interfaith vigil just a block from the church where investigators continued their work. I knew everybody in there. Terry Smith was holding a vigil of her own. We knew everybody in there. And it breaks my heart. From her restaurant across the street, she watched it all helplessly on Sunday morning. And we saw him shooting. We were out here and we couldn't do nothing. We saw him shooting the building outside. A bloodied survivor stumbled into her store, but the victims also include one of her best friends, a victim who also lost two daughters and then she feared a son as well. She's gone. Her two children are gone. Her little boy, they say, was not going to pull through. So they're gone. There's people dead in there already. There's one dead out here. This is the cell phone video of David Casillas. Two bodies outside the church. The rest of the horrific There's scene inside. Right there. There's dead people all inside the church right down the street from our house. It was heartbreaking. It was unbelievable. It was horrific. It was, I mean, really it's just shocking. Really, really shocking. Jesus, mighty name. By mid-morning, this tiny town now filled with investigators and hundreds of media was filling with street preachers too, casting their prayers above. Yes, Jesus. John cast his prayers in sheet metal. 26 crosses he made last night, placing them as close to the church as he could. But I break in tears just, just remembering what happened over here. Like I said, it, it's touches, because this could have been my sons right here. They go to church every Sunday too and they could have walked in there and they could have got you know, massacred. And so that's what affects me. Meanwhile, the victims' families are being sequestered at another church about a mile away, where they can privately get help from county and state agencies to navigate through this unprecedented death toll. But the man who shot this haunting video also wears his salvation on his chest. One of many who say that's the only way Sutherland Springs will survive. I know. Uh, God will get us through all this. He will. And we, we're praying for everybody. Everybody in a town of 600 mourning the 26 souls no longer here. In Sutherland Springs, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.